Last video of 2023, and I wanted to show you this game where former world champion Anand actually loses a game in six moves. And of course, I want to see if we can find the winning continuation and all the different tactical ideas that we have to keep in mind. But more importantly, um, this game is not, or this video is not to make fun of Anand. Of course, you can't. He's one of the best in history. But for us to take it as a reminder when we have a bad tournament, a bad game, Anand, instead of just giving up, he simply continued to train, continued to put effort in, instead of abandoning chess and saying, hey, you know what, I'm not talented, I lost in six moves, he actually uh, ended up being a war, world champion. So let's get to the game. After e4, e5, we got knight f3 anand with the black pieces continues with the petrov defense or russian defense so instead of defending this pawn on with knight c6 we say you know what uh, i'm gonna play knight f6 and then if you take me well i'm going to kick you back and then i'm going to get the pawn right back now from here i think the main line is pawn to d4 but there's another popular line that I like myself. I have prepared it for a lot of my students, which is knight to c3. And normally the black pieces take, then d takes c3, and the white pieces get ready to develop this bishop, many times to f4, sometimes to e3. And then after queen d2, they actually end up castling queenside, and we get a very dynamic game. However, in this game, Anand, I think at the moment he was like, he was a teenager, maybe 17, 18 years old. I don't know, something about that. Um, he decides to play Bishop F5. And then Grandmaster Zapata from Colombia, he actually finds a move that makes Anand resign, abandon the game. So take a moment. There are other moves that I want you to find. But uh, take a moment here, pause the video if you need to, to see if you can find that move for white. Now, I hope you pause the video. I hope you found the move. The move is, of course, queen to e2. So I'm putting pressure on that knight. And, uh, of course, it's pinned. The knight cannot go anywhere. But then we got to cover two main ideas. What if the black piece is simply protected with the pawn? Well, of course, if there is a pinned piece, we're supposed to add more pressure to it with the least valuable piece available. In this case, I'm going to attack with a pawn. And now, even if you get my pawn back, I'm going to be getting your knight, right? Now, the other question to ask is, what if they simply go queen to e7? Because now I'm defending my knight twice and I'm ready to just put it back. And if you trade, I simply take back, not a big deal. So the question to you, to you is, what do you think Zapata was going to play if Anand had continued with queen e7? Well, some of you maybe thought of the move knight d4, maybe knight h4, but in reality, the move is knight to d5. I'm going after the queen. If the queen wants to continue to defend that knight, Let's say queen e6. Well, of course, we got knight c7, fork, and uh, we're going to win material no matter what. And then, of course, they could, after knight d5, they could simply move the queen out of the way. But then, again, there is the pin, absolute pin on the king, and we simply play pawn to d3, and we're going to get the piece no matter what. Now, if you're not that experienced, you might be asking, how come he resigned? It's only a piece, not a big deal. But as you move up the ladder, master level, this is enough to never come back from the game. At the grandmaster level, even less. But uh, the point is, uh, as beginners, maybe we keep playing and we, we get a game. But at the master level, that's it. You're down a piece, you're not coming back from it. My students know if they're, if they're up a piece, it's all about simplifying the game, going into an endgame where they have the extra knight, you also could try to attack because you have an extra piece. But no matter what, once more, I hope this video helps you get into 2024 with this mindset. We all have great games and really bad games. 
What really matters is that we learn from our mistakes so that we don't repeat them and continue to enjoy chess. With that said, Happy New Year. Let me know in the comments if you like this video and I will see you in our next lesson.